to be continued. This whole set is actually steeped in so much legacy and lore, it actually goes back to the original Headmasters cartoon, where the name Grand Galvatron originated, and where we got to see the original Pudge Ball. But here in the English-speaking circles, you know them better as Quatasonus and his quad squad of quad cons. Plus there's Roller. Hello! And I do have to say that there's a fair amount of facelift here, giving this dude some heft, and pretty much the general distinction between him and his mind-altering counterpart. It looks just like the character would if he was merged with the spirit of Galvatron. Not to mention the cherry on top of this gun, which now definitely says Galvatron, like down the side of the barrel, I'm sure, somewhere. Instead of what it was before, was this like... Whatever, you know, like, pfft, okay, a gun, sure. Transformation's super easy, not gonna be too hell of a lot of taxation on your senses. Once again, you have to give it up for the paint apps, which are plentiful and different in different tiers of hues, and it just looks amazing on this guy when it's all separated out and you can see what's what on him. But son of a bitch, there's the mind wipe thing again. Upside down fin daggers in hand. He comes like that. I didn't make that up. He's trying to be the guy that controls your thoughts, what with the vampireness and all. Then finally, the last stop in this triple changer terror has to be the torso mode, which, you know, it's a brick, but it's meant to be the brick that holds it all together. So, gotta give it up for all the paint once again being the highlight of this thing that just makes it work. Oh, just that chest shield is beautiful. It's like if Starscream stopped being a bitch and finally got around to being the real leader of the Decepticons. He'd have stature like that. And speaking of star screams, this is something quite special and possibly my favorite one out of the entire set Because if you were to take every star scream ever and let's say put them all into one room Not one of them would be a combination of ghost and combiner limb as a matter of fact Name me any combination of combiner limb official or otherwise that is unique as this guy. How f***ing heavy metal is that a ghost arm or leg for your combiner. Starscream is literally, not figuratively, literally a phantom limb. Boom! Mic drop. Now this ghost with the most you recognize because he's another clone of <laughs> Although I will lament that maybe because he doesn't have his null rays, he's worse for it. You didn't give Starscream his null rays. You can give Devastator elbows and all sorts of weaponry. You can't just rip off a pair of classic null rays and toss them in the box. And as a bot, Starscream is serviceable. I mean, he definitely looks like Starscream. Just some of the more invocative shapes that are iconic with the character, like the chest canopy, aren't there. It's back kibble instead, but he still holds true to what he's supposed to be. Even though the head should be transparent and maybe this connector peg could be the same as well. Don't know if that'd cause engineering nightmares, but hey, he looks cool when you hold him to the light. Okay, you sweaty freaks! I'm about to save you from this go! Now that is a very fair question to ask, since we are dealing with a combiner limb here made from some very scary ghostly candy. How much stability of movement can I get out of the X-ray of Starscream? And the answer is, quite generously, a lot. This dude can already do what everyone else already does. He can pose with the best of them, and aim a gun. And be a limb and be a leg, or a jet, or just basically a backstabbing traitor. Oh, and a ghost. He can be a ghost. I get it, the hand-foot gun can't really be a ghost because symmetry and all that, but the laser rifle is just a molded piece of plastic. Throw that in some transparent molding, huh? How's a ghost supposed to hold a real object? How's a ghost supposed to link up with Galvatron? Is it because they're both ghosts? Whoa. So after a while, you're getting really sick and tired of Starscream's attempts at mutiny, so you sentence him to be a limb, and you get this, and then you take that, and you do something like this, and you got yourself your very first combiner limb, where Starscream is your right hand. Back in hand. That's the first time ever Starscream's been able to do that to someone else. So after taking a hard right, we got a bank left, and now focus on Armada Curse Thrust, whose mold mates with Nothing too much to say here outside of the very accurate anime paints and the fact that his wings are very, very movable. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, he came like that. Same weapons and same deal as Starscream. He's another jet. Uh, that's cursed. So maybe he'll turn into a werewolf. Maybe a fifth mode as a werewolf really could have saved this one for me. But Armada Curse Thrust, eh, he's not really scratching any sort of itch. We already got three planes as it is. Maybe a sideways mold from the Groove Toy would have been a better choice since we're dealing with characters who have to deal with Unicron. But alas, he's just cursed. And why won't you turn into a werewolf? It's not really saying much, but this is definitely by far the best Armada Thrust toy we've ever had. And it doesn't hurt that he actually looks really great. Range of movement is all there, so he'll do everything you expect him to do. And at the same time, bonus, he'll hold it in place. So go ahead. Kick some ass with that giant bootleg. And then he's a limb because, like, I don't know, maybe he's accursed to be a limb because, like, he ran across the one dude from the G2 comics and the reveal of the shield line who was always like, try curse you. And that's his fate to be, like, the combiner limb that got dragged across the multiverse by Unicron to be the left arm of this really bizarre combiner that forms Galvatron some way. You stop judging me. This shit's hard. Let's migrate south and focus on one of the legs this time with Zombie War Breakdown from Prime Continuity. Who shares a mold with... The color scheme is super nice, which does invoke the character of Breakdown, but at the same time, it's not really him. I get it, there's only so many combiner limbs to go around that are certain vehicles, but at the same time, you included a roller in this set made from the Ruck mode, which would have made a better choice for Breakdown. So he's a very nice blue truck, which is very invocative of Breakdown from the time they did the zombie stories, and he himself was a zombie because the Kurgan rode his corpse around, very messed up. So then you transform him, which is just about as hard as a G1 toy and then you look at this zombie war figure and you, you kind of wonder where's the zombie war wear and tear damage because this looks more like the Michael Bay version of a zombie war where the pretty people win and the zombies are all racist stereotypes with buck teeth so after you break down break down and turn them into your foot fetish you just prop them on there all proper like and maybe lock it down with a fist in the back and now you got yourself a zombie limb leg it's like Galvatron and Monstructor all in one all of a sudden. Galvastructor or Mon Monstructatron? And here we find ourselves down at the home stretch after this long list of limbs where we hit upon the last leg of our journey. Get it? Strangely unique or uniquely strange. Don't know how to quite phrase this one because he is still an Autobot, but also an Autobot who holds a grudge against Optimus. Yet somehow that was enough for Unicron to decide to drag him across the multiverse to form a leg like he was Voltron. His slim bit of backstory does tweak my interest a little bit and I do want to know what is the all encapsulating reason he hates Optimus so much. Or you know, maybe just being left behind one too many times. I mean, even Spike gets involved in these battles and he brings along Megan Fox, and you're just sitting there in the box roasting, and it's like a thousand degrees in there by now, and you're just like, I, you know, I'm an essential part of this operation. I can transform in this multiverse counterpart. How come the dude from the Disney Channel gets to run off from the hot chick from Jennifer's body? That's not fair. I mean, come on. Look at Roller in robot mode. He's so B to the A. I absolutely love Roller as this robot. He shares that mold with him, him, and that other guy I can't really think of right now. I love this former hero in a half shell with all his ports and pegs and just his beefiness. He strikes as an APC vehicle, but he's got the weapon ports that just scream, I could be anything I want. His color scheme is so simple and effective, highlighting what he used to be when he was just G1 and on wheels all the time, but there's also this splash of color that maintains that he is definitely his own unique character now. For me, the only unsightly slightliness that this mold really suffers from is this unbit of unforgiving, unkept kibble that can't fold away. Kind of like he's the Generations Voyager Optimus toy with his arm flap shields. Irony! Thankfully for me though, that's a minor quivicable to have and more than a fair price to pay for a character that's been taxed out to be maxed out. So after you've had your fun and are done screwing around, you can turn Roller into the Foot Soldier and finally complete the final piece for our Frankenstein.
Kind of looks like one of those Power Ranger morphers, doesn't he? And after one final limb transplant, guess what? Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of a Grand Galvadron Combiner. Or, as the instructions officially title him, uh, Combiner Haunt Leader Grand Galvatron. Don't forget to peg that cannon on there for that extra bit of Galvatron-y goodness. This dude is absolutely worth every dollar you invest into him. He covers all the necessary C's. Combination, color scheme, characterization, and collector's coin. Oh yeah, he comes with a collector's coins. He's sturdy, he's chunky with the movement and it's ratchetiness that just stays in place no matter how you decide to use them. Pull back these fists that are holding him in place. You even got knee movement. What more could you want besides a total refund after you buy the guy and still manage to keep the toy? He is absolutely something you cannot live without. You hate the Combiner Wars? You suck! And I'm sending everybody your address because there's no way you can dispute the awesomeness of this guy. Grand Galvatron, the only multiversal mashup of mismatched machines from across the multiverse with a multiple personality disorder and possibly a multiple fortress. Couldn't even say the last line. I will kick the unliving crap out of you and you, especially you!